for the first snowfall of the year, I feel I'm always excited and I always get that first snowfall on Snapchat. Only this year I didn't really get it because it was just so much going on. It always makes me feel happy and excited to see snow. I love the snow. When it comes to December, I think a lot about family and I think a lot about the, the preparations for the, the holiday season. I spend a good deal of the month writing cards to all my friends and family, telling everybody how much I, I love them and appreciate them and uh, always have records going on as I'm, I'm doing all this. So that's a lot of fun. Favorite winter activity is ice skating. My parents did it growing up and they passed on to me and my brother growing up, so we usually do that every year. One of the things that I enjoy um, as far as a winter activity is taking my son out for a walk, a basic walk in our neighborhood and watching him in awe looking at the, the snowfall. He enjoys making snow angels. I'm not a big winter person per se, but he loves being outside and just sitting looking at the snowfall. When I go back home, it's really my sister, like she, she's actually like a chef kind of, like she, she makes a lot of crazy types of food, exotic foods. Um, shout out to Cooking and Opera, that's, that's, her, that's her brand. I come from a Caribbean household, so that, this season is definitely that season where, you know, we just eat. To adjust to this winter holiday season, basically not being able to be around family, having to do Zooms a lot with your family because you can't be around them during COVID and just trying to like stay safe. I believe the way that we mostly adjusted um, as a family for my like mom and dad, like I'm an only child, so it'll probably just be us giving things to um, for being alive during this time and actually being safe. It's definitely been difficult this year having to adjust to um, our new normal and, and COVID. I've not been able to see some of the family that we normally would see around this time of year. Uh, we've been delivering a lot of food to my grandparents with our, our masks on and everybody being protected. But we all know that it's a sacrifice that we're willing to make to make sure that everybody is safe and that we'll have future holidays to celebrate with each other. Family is the most important thing. It's very important to reflect on these times because you know you can't take things for granted. Um, you only have one life, so you always got to make the best out of it, no matter what the circumstance is. Just thinking about 2020 was a crazy year. I think it's important to reflect on the things that we have in life because we don't have to have the things that we have. Having a spirit of gratefulness is truly key during this difficult time. That's the thing that's going to help stabilize your mind and help you be emotionally well, to value the things that you have and be grateful for the things that you have. To think about your life, your health, your strength, those are actually words that I say often. I'm a, a believer and a religious person in my church, and we let those words roll off of our tongue. But I am in a place where I truly try to surround myself with positive people who are grateful for their life, their health, and their strength, because that doesn't have to be.